hope you're having an awesome day. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember to hit the bell for notifications. And over the years, people spend so much money on these solar power systems, and you don't really have to. If you use the right stuff from the beginning, you don't have to touch it for the next 10 to 20 years. You just have to do it right the first time. Is it working? Oh, there we go. Okay, <laughs> no worries. So yeah, I just really want people to understand that. Like if you do it right the first time, you're done. And other things you can be cheap about in life. Like you can be really lazy with some things, but with electrical, you can't. You have to do it right. So uh, yeah, cheap wire is like one of the first ones that I want to talk about. If you go on Amazon right now, there is copper clad aluminum wire and you want to avoid it like the plague. Every inverter problem I've seen lately and overheating wires that can cause fires is because of this cheap stuff. And it's like 80 to 90% of the listings on Amazon. Um, and I've been wanting to make a video for the YouTube, but I've been just so many other things to talk about. But um, if you can do that and you buy pure copper or wire, you will save your rig, you will save the family or anybody that's sleeping in the rig. Like you want pure copper, wire and the reason this is important is because oh wait let me think about how we should hold on I'm thinking um, so think about this if you have a co actually <laughs> I want to make it be beginner friendly and I don't want to put you guys to sleep so hold on let me think actually we can just say avoid it okay I don't want to tell you the specifics buy copper wire and spend the extra money. That's it. Okay, that'll be good. Okay. Um, <laughs> the next thing is batteries. So a lot of people here have lead acid batteries, right? And everyone's used to it and they seem safe because a lot of people haven't had any problems. And they think that lithium is scary because they can catch on fire or certain chemistries can. And all batteries are dangerous no matter if it's lead acid, valve regulated sealed lead acid, or even lithium iron phosphate, no matter which chemistry you use, all batteries are dangerous. And what I mean by that is that they hold, you know, energy potential and they have charge. And if you have one wire that trips or something that overheats and you have an overload scenario, if there's something combustible nearby, like a piece of wood, Again, your whole rig is up in fire. So whether you think that your rig is safe or not, if you have a battery in there, it is a potential danger no matter how you frame it. Okay, so no matter, like I, I see so many people online and they're like, oh, this one's so safe, oh, that one's so safe. It's like, no, no battery is safe, all right? No battery is safe. And let's see, um, another thing I want to talk about, I didn't prepare for this by the way, but I think you guys kind of, get like these are good points um solar charge controllers everybody messes up the size of wire going from the battery to the solar charge controller if you do that you can catch your rig on fire all right you need it to be the proper size that's specced in the manual with pure copper also those wire gauge charts that you see all over the place those are for copper wire if you use that aluminum copper clad aluminum wire or cheap other cheap wires um, those charts do not apply so you can really screw yourself over if you use the chart and you say oh I'm gonna be smart and safe and use this chart and then I'm gonna buy this wire off of Amazon but then you connect your solar charge controller and it's not the right size because that that guide is for copper wire um, you can you can destroy everything because of that anyways I want to take some questions from the crowd because I'll just ramble on for days but uh, yeah, if you want to have, if you have a question, yeah, right here. Yeah. Um, yeah. My question for you, Will, is what are your credentials? You seem to be oh. way too smart for a dude your age. Man. You know, way too much. I got the book and I have Oh, you have the book. That's no so effort. crazy to see that. Wow. Uh, it's a reference guide. I use it every day. No way. I even it use is. it because there's so many like random things I'm too lazy to think. Yeah. <laughs> it's just... Well, everything is in one spot. I don't have to say, oh, what wire gauge? Let me look that up. I got it right here. Right, yeah, right. It's, it's awesome, man. Good job on the book. Thank you. Good Thank job. you so much. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so credentials, I did go to college, but it was for um, health sciences. So I did do physics and all that. But where I learned everything for electrical, 
was when I was a kid, I built robotics and oh. animatronics and long range drones. Um, and this was when I was like 13 years old to about 15. That's when I was coding a lot. So like, once you have that, solar power is just, I just ramble. I just, it's super easy and fun. It's like battery, solar panel, da da. <laughs> it's pretty great. But thank you. Yeah, it's, yeah. Um, next question. Thanks, Will, for the fun talk. And you can hear the questions and answers on the next episodes. But time's getting short, so we gotta go. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Thanks again for watching. And before you leave, remember to hit the subscribe button below. And we'll see you on the next one.